guys natural jerry here welcome and welcome back to my channel today we are going over october current obsessions if you're unfamiliar with my current obsessions they're basically my favorites but i call them current obsessions because i wanted to name them something different and i do these every other month as opposed to every month because every month i don't have a lot of favorites i'm not going to do a video just dedicated to one product so let's jump into my current obsessions i guess i will start with oops i left something in the other room hold on I'm back. Okay, I guess I'll start with hair care. Um, I have the Negus Banda Shea Bay Pre Poo Treatment. I have been obsessed with this Pre Poo um, since I started using it. I absolutely love this. This is a black owned business, and I've been wanting to try them for a while. They've been on my list, so um, they were having an anniversary sale, I believe. So I picked up this in a deep conditioner, which I absolutely love as well. Um, but basically, you apply this on damp hair, leave it in for 30 minutes, and rinse, and then go about your wash day. This makes wash day so much more easier. I absolutely love it. I love the way it makes my hair feel, especially if my hair is not feeling so great. It really brings back the curls and the moisture and just, you know, revives my hair. So I absolutely love this stuff. So I will be continuing to use this. This is a really great um, pre poo treatment. Next up is the Mish Tropical Oasis Hair Gel. I don't know if I talked about this previously, but we're gonna talk about it again because this gel is everything it smells like a tropical fruit salad it smells like pineapples papaya mango whatever it smells like a tropical fruit salad but this definition is this gave me one of the best wash and goes i've had my hair stayed put for entire week yes it does get a little hard and crunchy but there's nothing a little oil can't do to scrunch out the crunch but i was in the rain i was in the heat i was in all kinds of weather and my hair stayed put like it didn't get frizzy my hair didn't my you know my hair stay put so this stuff is everything that I've seen online amazing I think I may do a couple more wash and goes with this because this gel is amazing and even though it says a limited edition I think they're making this a permanent part of their line because I would be very upset if they discontinue this this gel is everything so if you need a nice stronghold gel um I highly recommend this it's very lightweight on your hair lightweight on your hair and it's just overall really really amazing um, I guess we will start next with well, fragrances. <laughs> I have been obsessed with this finery, not another cherry. I have been obsessed with this perfume. This smells so good. I know this is supposed to be a dupe to a Tom Ford um, perfume. I think I've smelled it. I don't remember, but this smells so good. This is like my new everyday perfume. I'll leave the notes down here, but this smells so good. This is perfect for every day, for going out, for date night. It just smells amazing. It's not too much. It's not too overpowering to me. This is an amazing everyday perfume. And plus, you can find these in Target. They're 30 bucks. Very affordable, and they seem like really high-end um, fragrances. They have a lot. I love the vanilla one, the pistachio one I love. What other one? I have another one that's like a purple bottle, but I've been obsessed with the finery perfumes they are amazing so if you're looking for a nice affordable perfume i highly recommend going to target and grabbing these this is amazing and then the next one i have is the vanilla musk by nima i got this at ulta i've seen a couple people hopefully you can see that can you see it it doesn't want to focus anyway i've seen a couple people rave about this um perfume oil fragrance oil this vanilla smells so good. I absolutely love it. I love the scent of it. It's like subtle, but you can smell it. To me, it's kind of a little subtle vanilla, but it's very, not too strong, but you can smell it on you, if you get what I'm saying. Um, if you're somebody that doesn't like an overpowering, strong vanilla scent, I would recommend this fragrance oil. Just put it on your normal pressure points or whatever, and you can just smell it throughout the day. I love it. It just smells so good. It's like, absolutely love it. So um, I have two of these because I got this during one of the Ulta sales, so... Yeah, highly recommend this. It's really, really good. I guess next we'll move into skincare. Um, I have the Olay Cleansing Melts. I have been obsessed with these. This is my second pack. I randomly picked these up at Target. And I saw this because it was a pretty cool concept. It's like these little um, squares in here. And you basically take one. You wet your face first. Then you dissolve it in water for three three seconds. And then you rub your hands together. It creates a, like a lather, like a nail, like a it creates a lather like a normal face wash would then you just wash your face these have been amazing very convenient um this would be perfect for traveling and I absolutely love like the concept of these and they're 10 bucks at target or walmart and i absolutely love these cleansing melts i've noticed a big difference when i started using these uh, for my daytime cleanser there's like three different ones this one i got the hyaluronic facial 
hyaluronic and fragrance free. There's one for vitamin C. And I think there's one with, um, I can't think of the other one. But there's like a yellow and a purple pack. Like this is blue, there's yellow, and then there's purple one. Um, I highly recommend trying these out. These are really amazing. Absolutely love these. And then my second thing, I don't know if I talked about this before, but if I did, I don't care if we're talking about it again. The Fenty Skin Cookies and Clean Whipped Clay Intensive Pore and Blackhead Face Scrub. That was a mouthful. Love this. this is my new um, exfoliator. I attempt to exfoliate my skin just about twice a week. It's supposed to be two to three times. Sometimes it only happens once a week, sometimes twice a week, but you should be exfoliating your skin every week so to get all dead skin cells off so your skin can feel nice and smooth, especially if you're somebody that wears makeup a lot. You want a nice smooth canvas to put your makeup on. Love this stuff. It's not too abrasive on the skin. It's very pretty gentle. I um, absolutely love it. Just one thing when you're using this, make sure you wash it off because there are fine little particles that can still be on your face. So just make sure when you're using this that you really um, rinse this off so you don't feel like the fine particles. I remember one time I really didn't rinse very well and I felt as I was putting my moisturizer, I still felt particles or they may be on your hands. Just be careful when you use this, but this is a really good um, exfoliator. Absolutely love this one. And lastly, we have makeup. I know I probably have other products to talk about. I haven't been too much into makeup lately, but I have been obsessed with this Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Beauty Balm. I'm in the shade 14. I love this thing because it's just very convenient to use. It's very lightweight on the face. It's, I guess it's like a solid stick of a um, BB cream or something. I don't know, but this is what it looks like. Just like in a solid stick. So you can use your brush or wipe it on your face and it's very lightweight. Um, it just looks like your skin but flawless. I absolutely love this. So if you're somebody that doesn't like the feel of foundation or anything on your face, I would recommend this because this is very lightweight, very easy to use. It just looks like your skin but just more flawless and stuff like that and absolutely love this stuff. So that is it for my October current obsessions. I'll be back in December. Um, I guess around the time I'm doing vlogmas, I guess so I'll break it down to my top 10 products of the year based on category like hair care, body and skin care, fragrances, um, and whatever else. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, guys, I will catch you in the next video. Let me know if you used anything that I've mentioned or any favorites that you may have that I, I should try. Let me know in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any more videos. And until next time, guys, I will catch you in the next video. Later.